It's day 164. We've all just had a delicious breakfast at Shores and we're just waiting for a shuttle out to hit the 100 mile wilderness. Come on! So here we go into the 100 mile wilderness. Apparently we need 10 days worth of food. Good job we got six. Oh wait, I got 10 days. You have Maggie. <laughs> Maggie's got food for everyone. Excellent. Very cool waterfall down on the slate. Pretty cool. It's the it? first river fording. How's it going? Slow and steady wins the race. 165. Oh, you can't really see it. It's a bit, a bit dark. dark. We're up quite early. We're also five miles behind on our new 20 mile a day regime, so 25 today. <laughs> we love Maine. Cool inversion. Very cool. Really cool with the pond down there. Day 165 or 66, and we can hear a moose in the pond. We can't see it because it's really cloudy, but we can hear it. Right, we're going to find it. There is a moose in the mist, we can see him. Look. Oh, he's amazing. Woohoo, seen a moose. Yeah, moose hunt completed. This is like the best wildlife pond ever. I know you can't see it, but there's also, along with the moose in there, there's also three beavers swimming around in their lodge as well. Pretty cool. Bye bye, Mr. Moose. All right, we're here at the top of White Cat Mountain, and in that direction, we're meant to see Cataldin. Not today. Let's hope for better weather on Friday. Pretty happy, the sun's out. And we've only got 13 miles to go at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, just 13 to go. Um, but we don't care because the sun's out and we've done all the big hills. Um, all we need to do is climb Cacardin in like a few days' time now. Yeah, apart from Cacardin, yeah. But um, it's plain sailing from now. Here we go. And I'd, I'd say the weather's just going to stay like this for the whole time. I hope so. It's been pretty damp. Oh, yeah. And we've managed to fit in a pub. Well, we haven't fitted it in yet, but... We found out about a pub. I'm going to try and fit it in. And as we're walking with Maggie and Ian, that'll probably happen. There's some autumnal colours coming through there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a clean t-shirt. Oh, wow. Exciting news. <laughs> it's exciting news. Washed it in me a stream. Yep. Well, it's all go here. It is. Sunshine! <laughs> Pretty sweet. What day are we? 167. Yep, it's yep. the marathon day today. <laughs> Passing out the marathon, maybe 30 miles. Nah, it's never going to happen. Was oh, that you? Yeah. Marathoning it up. Yeah. <laughs> Excited by this sign, off to see the view. So we've made it, well, we've made it here. There it is. There's Katardin. Pretty cool spot for lunch. Still loving Maine, still loving Maine. All right, we're on the last page. Top of the little mountains here. Flat, 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 flat. Good in. There she is again. So she's like 16 miles as a crow's flies, but I think we've got about 38 to walk, something like that. It's pretty cool up here though. It's amazing, we've been walking around this lake for a while. Here come the other motley crew. <laughs> Maybe we won't be running like that. We're coming to get ya. Come on, get that in. Day 168 and yesterday I did 20, well we all did, 25.9 so miles. So 0.1 off a marathon. That's close enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so to the pub today and then Katahdin tomorrow. How many miles are we doing today? No. And the pub trip? 25, <laughs> the pub, getting about mm, midnight. Nothing like leaving all the walking to the last minute or anything. <laughs> well, this sign's not looking too bad. Katardin, that steak bar, 21.2. Pretty happy about that. <laughs> happiness, this is happiness. <laughs> we're a bit emotional. God knows what we're going to be like tomorrow. <laughs> There she is. She's getting closer. There she is. Yeah, she is. 
We're here. Down there. That was down. At 100 mile wilderness. So, we're a little upset after looking at the weather forecast for tomorrow. Yeah, meant to be raining all day. Raining all day for when we're climbing up. That bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> But we can't really complain because we have had the best weather all summer. It's been amazing. But it, yeah, it's a shame that our summit day is going to be rainy. Well, they said that it was going to rain on our wedding day 10 years ago. So they did say that. So fingers crossed. It's only a 90% chance of rain. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've got the 10% in the bank. We've got it sorted. Check out this green frog hanging out. It's going to go for a swim. Oh, he's huge. Look at him go. <laughs> so we just got out of the 100 mile wilderness, went to the restaurant and the pub and had a few beers and now we're walking another 10 miles to get to Katahdin. And this is literally the ugliest place in Maine. It's such a disappointment. You get out of the 100 mile wilderness, there's cars everywhere and there's... <laughs> yep, here's Maine. It's ugly. Not really though. Look at the background. Don's look even better. So well, we've arrived, we're in Baxter State Park and this looks all very complicated. I'm desperate for a wee. <laughs> Go for a wee then. There's loads of stuff to consider. <laughs> to consider. There is, look, important. AT through hikers. Tomorrow, 100% chance of rain. That's not good. So we've walked 25 miles, fitted a pub in and here we are at the shelter just ready to summit Katahdin tomorrow in the possible snow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you posted how that goes. <laughs> and our 10th wedding anniversary cake, Maggie Nian got us. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Happy bye. Oh, are we doing some facts then? Yeah, let's do some facts. Well, it's not very factual. Uh, so, this is it. After 169 days. Mm -hmm. Five and a half months. Um, 81,000 blazes. Um, 16 times height and gain and drop of walking up Everest. <laughs> that makes loads of sense. We basically, we walked up and down Everest 16 times. <laughs> the equivalent. Of. Um, anything else? Well, possibly still 270 miles to go if the visa comes through. Oh, yeah. Cross, visa Visa's extension. still not here yet, so we're still waiting on the visa. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, so we've walked... Oh, how many miles have we walked? We've walked uh, 2,184 miles so far. 5.3 to go. Yeah. 5.2 to go. Mm -hmm. um, basically just doing this video because we will do some filming from the top, but I think it might be a bit emotional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Considering the weather forecast, it's not too rainy. It could be a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. Here we go. 4.1 miles to go. It's raining, but it's trying really hard to clear. Come on! Looks like something's in cloud up there at the moment, but... Come on, fingers crossed! Come on, blue sky, yeah! Wow, cool. <laughs> Six inches away. So, yeah, amazing. Just talking to the video. This is, I don't know if it's just because we've walked a lot of miles in a short amount of time or whether it's because it's the end, but this is quite a hard hike. There's a lot of like rock climbing. There's a lot of uh, me taking my bag off. Sarah's favourite moves are the crab and the lobster roll. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of which I'm performing right now. <laughs> That's it. Go. Into the clouds. Here we, go. Oh, we are nearly there. So close. <laughs>
job, guys. That's how far. <laughs> this is the last northbound blaze. We are coming down the saddle. No longer on the Appalachian Trail, following blue blazes. That's a bit weird. It was brutal coming along the ridge. So windy and cold. Keep your fucking view. <laughs> <laughs> so it's completely clear now. So uh, Sarah's going to walk back up. on our way down stunning absolutely managed to clear up there for when we came down but who cares <laughs> it's amazing it's champagne and lobster time <laughs> amazing lobster roll mm. <laughs> cheers cheers everybody <laughs> so it's been a couple of days now we're sitting in the pub next to the trail and we just wanted to thank a few people for all their support and uh, well wishings on the trail. So, uh, first of all, thanks to Bill Bryson for writing A Walk in the Woods, as we wouldn't have known about the trail unless he'd written the book. I mean, we both read it about 10 years ago. So, yeah. thanks, Bill. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Um, <laughs> I Yes, we both want to say thanks to family and friends. Your messages have been awesome and they've powered us through the miles. It's, we've really appreciated that a lot. Yes, thank you, family and friends, for all the nice messages. It's yep. been really cool. Um, thank you to all the bears for not eating us. <laughs> we've got like a, this is like an Oscars expect. <laughs> like, like, that like, is a massive list. <laughs> um, everybody who has left us lovely messages and watched our journey on YouTube, it, it's been unbelievable that you'd want to watch us messing about in the woods. I know, the random people sending us really nice messages. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that. That's, that was really cool. <laughs> um, oh, everybody who's given us a hitchhike into town, it's been amazing. Americans have been really nice about hitching and it's been, yeah, it's been great and it's really rarely caused a problem. Never. Yeah, apart yeah. from, yeah, no, just waiting is annoying. But anyway, um, all them nice people who maintain the trail. Yeah, we said thank you to them already, but thank you again. We yeah, really thank you again. It. I don't know if everybody knows, but um, the whole of the Appalachian Trail is maintained by volunteers. So the yeah. trail wouldn't be there without them, and it's amazing. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, the mums. Thank you for compedes for the whole... That's like things for blisters. Thanks, mums. We love you. Yeah, thanks, mums, for the compedes, even though I didn't get a single blister on the whole trail. <laughs> Sarah got plenty. Okay. Um, uh, trail magic. All the people that give up their time and money to meet us randomly in the middle of nowhere and give us nice things. To feed smelly hikers. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's great. And um, and that's it. And then obviously everybody who has sponsored us. Um, the money all goes to the Water Aid. It's a fantastic cause. And uh, thank you for everybody who's. Donated. sponsored us and donated so far if you haven't and you've enjoyed the videos now is the time i'll post another link to our thanksgiving thanksgiving not thanksgiving not yet. just giving website <laughs> uh, which is a completely secure way of sponsoring us you just go on there and you know even if it's just a couple of bucks or a couple of pounds um, it'll be amazing and all the money we can get together will be great yeah and hopefully we'll see you in a few weeks when we go and walk the part I missed yeah. but fingers crossed for the visa and um, and yeah we'll be posting videos for the 270 miles that we've missed down south yeah. Sarah missed down south thanks everyone thanks everybody bye bye